Now, if you have children, knowing when and how to coach them in bike riding can be a challenge. This week on My Bike, Mary spoke to Corey Boardman about how he got his, his kids hooked on bikes. Well, I actually started pre-riding bikes. where um, We got a trailer, one of the better uh, models, because I, I wanted to get something that had a decent hitch on the back. And when they were about nine or ten months, I think we first started just really little trips, because you know, they're only little, they're not that strong, but once they got to 12 months and beyond, um, yeah, we'd you know, take them pretty much anyway, so that was pretty cool. But um, once they were big enough, it's, it's the run bikes, the balance bikes that I'm a huge advocate for, and uh, I've seen so many kids um, learn balance and speed and cornering um, so well on those compared to the horrible things that are um, training wheels and stabilisers. So for, so for people who might not know, can you just explain what a run bike is? Yeah, sure. Um, it, they're, they're quite prevalent now. Uh, a lot of them are wood. Uh, some of them are steel or aluminium. Um, and it's essentially just like a little kid's bike, but there's no pedals, there's no chain. Um, and the idea is that the kids can put their feet down and um, scoot themselves along. So when they first start... They, uh, they pretty much sort of walk over the top of the bike and then they learn to, to put their tail down on the seat or the saddle and sort of start to, to move along. And very, very quickly, some kids will realise that um, they, can, they can keep their balance and they can sort of half go with one foot or maybe with two feet. And then by the end of it, they are running along at full pace and, um, and can roll along. So the idea behind it is that they... Uh, they learn balance because the the traditional kids bike with with stabilizers or um, or training wheels really only teaches them how to pedal and that's about it because the whole the whole steering um, idea is completely different on one of those. It's a lot more like a tricycle. So how much would one of those bikes cost? Well, if you if you're looking at the sales now and you know we're still just pre Christmas, um, you can you can pick them up for probably 60 70 80 dollars um there is a shelby unnamed german um supermarkety type one uh they semi-regularly have them for about the 60 dollar mark um but you won't they sort of only do that maybe once or twice a year uh last time i ended up buying four for friends um through that because i'm around the corner from one of those um but look you can pay the the original uh german mon models um they're nice you know beech wood and stuff you can you can pay a couple of hundred for those um not that i would um the cheaper ones are better uh some people also convert a normal kids bike um to a run bike or a balance bike um you can just take the pedals off or you can take the whole drive train out and make it lighter but the problem with that is sometimes those bikes are designed, uh, the geometry of them are designed to um, to have the training wheels on. So the kids can't reach the ground. They can't have their feet down far enough. Um, once the kids get a bit bigger, then, yeah, that's certainly an option. And I, I'm a big advocate for that's a, a good thing to transition a kid from a, um, a run bike to a, a normal bike is to take the pedals off so that they can start using it as a run bike and then put the pedals on. So do but, your um, kids so do your kids ride on their own? Yes or um, Yeah, my my elder daughter, um, she's turning five in February. Um, and she rides her bike uh, in the local park and uh, on some of the bike tracks um, by herself. Um, I tow her there on with a trail gator, one of the um, the big poles that attaches from the back of my bike, and she's been riding her pedal bike since just shy of her fourth birthday. Um, but you know, just for getting around, for commuting, she still um, rides her run bike all the time. And my younger one, um, she's turning two in February, and she's just getting started now. So are you um, so are you an advocate for ensuring that kids start riding on their own early? And um, two places, like to school well, and yeah, yeah. Um, look, I'm not, I'm not overly. I think if people want to wait, um, they can certainly wait. But I mean, I, I cycle to work every day. My partner, she cycles to work on the three days that she works, and it's just a, a normal thing. So I think 
uh, it helps instill that idea that cycling is a normal thing. My older one, she used to get quite distraught when she realised we'd have to take the car somewhere instead of um, taking the, the cargo bike or, or one of the other you know, kid carrying options that we do. So they, they, you know, they really do think that, it, that cycling is a normal thing. Um, but as far as getting them started, look, each to their own. We, um, we don't cotton wool our children. Um, but, you know, I think because they've learnt from such a, a, a young age, um, they, they tend not to fall off or anything either. They're, they're, they're cautious but skilled compared to a lot of their friends.